you are welcome to my channel. In my recent video that I made on how to install AHD CCTV cameras, we used this conventional power supply unit, which is the most widely used when it comes to AHD CCTV camera installations. But in this video, I will show you how you can use a PoE switch to supply power to these same AHD cameras, which gives you a more durable and a longer power supply lifespan, easier installation, and can be used for long distances up to 100 meters. We will be using these four AHD cameras. We will be using this PoE switch, which will be used to produce 12 volts DC power, which is the required voltage used by the CCTV cameras. We need PoE splitters. We will be using them to pick 12 volts DC power running through network cables. Here is our DVR. It is a four channel DVR. Here are also coaxial cables fitted with BNC connectors. These cables will be used to transmit video from the cameras to the DVR. We will also use this cable. It is a CAT6 network cable that we will be using to transmit power to the cameras. I will start with the video connections for all the four cameras before I do the power connections. So with the coaxial cable, I will connect to the camera side and the other end goes into the DVR. I will do for camera 2 as well. This end goes into the camera. And the other end goes into the DVR. I will repeat the same process for camera 3 as well. And finally, camera 4. Alright, so all the video connections have been made. Now let's do the power connections. This PoE switch is going to be used to provide just power to the cameras and nothing else. Remember in my introduction, I mentioned that it would replace this type of power supply for its advantages. So for camera one, I will connect one of the network cables to port one. And the other end goes into the PoE splitter, like this. At the output of the PoE splitter, this is what will feed the 12 volts power into the camera. So I will connect this into one of the cameras this way. This means that this particular camera is completely connected with both video and power. For a second camera, I will connect another network cable to the PoE switch. The other end goes into a PoE splitter. And then the power side goes into the second camera. So video and power have now been connected for camera 2. The same process will be repeated for camera 3. This goes into the power connector for the camera. And finally, camera 4.
now that all the cameras are wired, I will go ahead and power up my systems. The POE switch is on and you can see the lights on the POE splitters, which shows that power is getting into the POE splitters. And that also means that the cameras will be getting power. The DVR is also loading up. All the cameras are showing now. With this method, you can be assured that the system will work for a very long time compared to the use of the conventional power supply unit. Even though this method might be a bit expensive, but the benefits outweigh the disadvantage that is presented by the high cost involved in having to use this method. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.